So the challenges of treating medullary thyroid cancer really start with that first uh, question of when do we start treatment uh, and who do we treat uh, with systemic therapy. There's clearly a cohort of medullary thyroid cancer patients who have uh, relatively indolent disease that doesn't progress very rapidly. And those are patients that don't need therapy. So the first question is, does this patient that's presenting to you actually need systemic therapy? If the answer to that question is yes, then the challenge becomes uh, what do we treat them with and how do we manage the toxicities? Going even a couple steps before that, we have to realize that some medullary thyroid cancer patients ha will get their disease uh, because of hereditary syndrome. Uh, so for medullary thyroid cancer especially, we have to be sure that we're not dealing with the proband of a hereditary uh, genetic syndrome uh, that, that produced medullary thyroid cancer. This is, of course, multiple endocrine neoplasia, uh, 2A or 2B, or familial medullary, medullary thyroid cancer. So if it hasn't been done already, germline testing must be done on a patient that you see with medullary thyroid cancer. Um, then it becomes a, after you've made that decision of whether to start treatment, after you've started therapy, then it becomes a, a, an issue of following their disease, uh, tracking their uh, calcitonin, following their anatomic disease, and of course managing any side effects they have on the particular agent that you started them with. Unfortunately, the reality is that whatever agent you start, there will come a day where they progress on that drug. What we often do is then use the alternative agent if possible. Um, so if cabozantinib was started first uh, using vandetinib, the biggest challenge we're having now in the field of medullary thyroid cancer, certainly as researchers, is that we don't have a third line. And um, there are patients now who are getting to that third line. And unfortunately, that is still uh, a big question mark.